mountains back to Marrakesh. We stayed the night in Marrakesh, then the next day we are doing uh, the guided tour of uh, Marrakesh. Okay. I'm your tour guide, I'm going to be with you for the whole trip. Okay. Except two ladies, I think Karim and Theon here. Yeah? So you're going to leave us in Fez. The rest of us we will carry on to the Sahara, so it's uh -huh. like longer. I'm going to tell you like positive stuff, I'm going to tell you negative stuff. It's like my uh, responsibility to keep you safe. So that I mean the uh, main uh, like objective from like this uh, meeting. And of course, if you have any questions, you can ask me. We cooking. So, we do different, like we can have like tagine uh, chicken with like uh, uh, lemons, or we can have like tagine vegetarian, or, like... But each city has like its own and uh, speciality in terms of uh, food. Casablanca. So uh, just to give you like the briefing about today, so after here we are heading to the mosque. So uh, in the mosque, I mean it's only one guy who is like a love of like, like a mosque. You know after an accident he uh, lost his eyes, so I would like to use him in this uh, today. He's gonna give no, you something to show you like the highlights of Rabat. Normally uh, you have like a free time when we reach Rabat, we will be free, but uh, no way to just drop you at the hotel without like showing you the highlights of Rabat and so. Could it found mainly by rich people, mm. but for a dar, it's like for a middle, like uh, a class of uh, people uh, in the past. So I know there's a lot of people like are converting their houses into like guest houses. So that's one of the examples we are going to administer the capital, uh, city, uh, capital, yeah. Then uh, tomorrow we are driving from Rabat all the way to Shefshawan. So it's going to be uh, one of the longest uh, days. We stay two nights. Yeah, we are staying two nights. We are hiking too, as I mentioned. So hopefully there will be no rain so to discover that place it's one of the best to do like some hiking from Chef Shawn, almost the same way then to Fez so it's gonna be quite I like a rush of the places closed on Friday mm -hmm. so that's why we wanna do it like uh, on uh, Thursday so like that to see like the highlight of the next uh, day Kevin you gonna kind of leave us that day so you're gonna drive from uh, Fez by Ifran Azro, then this way all the way to near this lake. That's where you're gonna stay. And one of my colleagues is gonna come to pick you up from the Fez, and he will be with you all the way till back to Mar back to Marrakesh. As you reach Marrakesh, you're gonna do the guided tour of Marrakesh to discover like the highlights of Marrakesh. So passing by uh, Ifran, then that's mainly uh, like the place where we can like split. I mean the others will discover this side and for us we discover like south and south. So Ifran it's uh, we call it like Swiss village, you know uh, by like the colonial time the uh, like uh, the biggest cedar forest is in more in the, the whole continent of Africa you can see like the monkeys. Uh, they are wild, you know there are some people are offering like some to food to sell to Marzuka to the Sahara. <coughs> So, the first thing we're going to see in, uh, as we drive from Azru, the nomads. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to go into one of the... Do you know what does it mean, nomad? The desert yeah. people, yeah? Yeah, kind nomad. of. Nomad. Nomad, yeah. You know, it's actually a people who don't have, like, a hometown. So, most of their life, so they are moving, like, from a place to a place with their tent. Now, uh, wherever there is like good conditions for their animals like sheep, goats and so, all the way to this area, which is like warmer in winter, because this area can have like snow and so, so that's the, uh, you know, this area like during the Jurassic time used to be like a sea, so a lot of like dead animals and so found uh, fossilized in the rocks. 
Then uh, last stop will be in uh, Merzuga, which is going to be like the end of the road. Then you will get the camels going into the camp. And I got like a notification here, says some of you are having like option of staying in the hotel. <coughs> passing one, uh, <coughs> sorry, passing by one of the uh, irrigation system, one of the oldest in the world, was found in Iran first. Then in Morocco was in the 12th century and it was in Marrakesh, but this one we are going to discover, it's from the 17th century. It's like a tunnel, we call them Tarak from the Atlas Mountains to take the water, I mean from the tunnel all the way to this area. It's the so biggest the Jewish community is in, in the southern side of Morocco. Before uh, 1940, the Tudra, it's one of the very famous like gorge in Morocco, uh, known for like rock climbing, that's where David is going to go on. Yeah? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> then uh, after that we going to be back to Bumel Dedes, which is known as like a normal place. Like this area, it's open, that's where the moment of settlement for the winter. Uh, we're gonna stay in one of the hotels, and hopefully, some of the normal will be closer, so you will have the apartment valley. Then, visiting Skura, that's like one of the oases as well in Morocco. They still have uh, one of the castles, that's where you're gonna learn about like movies, like films, and so. We're gonna have like a, a tour inside the studio. It's one of the biggest studios in Africa, by the way, and uh, as you know, Morocco is the biggest like uh, producer of you know, like movies. Do, it's a lot of a world heritage site. Have you watched the movie Gladiator? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a part of it was filmed in that town. 